Hi, I'm Professor Don Mueller, although I'm perhaps better known as Dr. Bones. Today I'm going to talk about uses of the metric system in chemistry. The metric system is a decimal-based system of weights and measures based on powers of 10. First proposed by the British, first adopted by the French. It's a set of base units. We actually call this system international now. These base units are the meter, the kilogram, second, the ampere, a measure of current, electrical current, Kelvin, temperature, mole, molecular quantity, and candela, light intensity. From these base units, you derive a variety of what are called derived units. Frequency, one over seconds, force measured in newtons, energy measured in joules, power measured in watts. The watt is a joule per second. Moving over here, we've got pressure measured in pascals. Pressure is a force newton per meter squared. We have voltage, a joule per coulomb. Measurement of resistance, or ohms, would be volts divided by amps. This is based on Ohm's law. And a variety of equations that are used in the physics world. Force equals mass times acceleration. Weight is mass times gravity, and the, perhaps the most famous equation of our time, energy equals mass times the speed of light squared, Einstein's equation. Let's convert some of these things to English. By the way, be careful when going from English to metric units. Inchworms might become centipedes. And don't fear the metric system, although a friend of mine, he really fears a lot of things. Here we've got my friend here. I don't know why he fears the metric system, but, oh, come on, you're afraid of too many things. All right, so let's take a look at some, at some of these conversion factors. The kilogram, 2.2 pounds. The pound, about 454 grams. A gallon, 3.8 liters. One mile, if you've traveled a mile in those shoes, you've gone 1.6 kilometers. One meter, about 3.3 feet, so a little more than a yard. Temperature, we have temperature measurements that aren't exactly what we would call metric. You've seen your thermometer, indoor and outdoor, Celsius and, and Fahrenheit. Well, Celsius is connected to metric through Kelvin. Celsius equals Celsius plus 273 degrees Kelvin, so there's the conversion factor. And if you want to go to Fahrenheit, you can see the connection with the old standby 9 fifths Celsius plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So some uses for metric. We've seen a variety in the kitchen. We've got measuring cups, so metric in English, one side or the other. Thermometers, as we've seen before, also can be used in the kitchen. And finally, that good old cereal box. Look at the side of your cereal box. We don't talk about English anymore. We talk about grams of fat and grams of carbohydrate and grams of protein. So the metric system, it's all around you and it's certainly in use in chemistry. So finally, I'd like to introduce my friend Skelly Skeleton and he can tell you where you can find out more about Dr. Bones. Go, go ahead, Skelly. Hey, Dr. Bones, how are you? You can find out more about us at drbonesshow.com and brainbuildingshows.com. <laughs> See you later.